Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Another vlog today, pretty cool one as well, and it's actually a first for me because I'm working on a car which I've yet to work on, um, which is the Mark 8 Golf GTI. So obviously the Mark 8's pretty new. Um, a good friend of mine has recently bought this. He ordered it a long, long time ago, but with everything with the, the chip shortage and everything like that, he's only recently had it. Already done some good stuff to it, so we'll put the upgraded alloys on there with some good tires, it looks great. But today is in for our, um, is in for our PE handling package. So again, we've got the H&Rs and the spacers. Slightly different setup what we've gone for on the spacers and then obviously with the extended, um, the extended bolts. Um, but yeah, I've yet to see a Mark 8 on this sort of setup. So it'll be a first as well. But if you just take a look, lovely bit of kit this i've always been a fan of the gti's mark 7 7.5s and this mark 8 is no different i absolutely love it i think this and a club sport as well whoa lovely bit of kit but as you can see <clears throat> in factory form it's very high look at the arch gap here huge and obviously GTI is kind of where all the hot, uh, hot hatch actually started. Um, so yeah, the aim is, is to make this, um, the stance on this a lot better, um, make it handle a lot better as well. So um, we'll crack on with this. I think personally, personal preference, but I've always preferred the visual look of the GTI, whether it's a, a GTI like this one or the Club Sport, I've always preferred the look over them over a Mark seven or even an 8R. I don't know why. There's a few lot of differences, but I just think they just look great. And I think they're more enjoyable. Front wheel drive, just, yes, they're not as good off the mark and stuff like that, but I just think they're a little bit more involving, a little bit more enjoyable. And I don't know, maybe a club sport at some point may become a demo. I've had a couple of demos for these and I think they're brilliant, but while it's in, have a quick look just really nice car the main difference i would say with this over comfort access as well is this is the interior right <coughs> just such a lovely lovely place to be a lot more modern a lot more tech it's a bit it's Hello, very uh, Oh, you've got a great How do we turn this down? Yeah, I mean, early on in the... Right. Bit more spacious. Quite simple in design, but it works. Really nice car. Nice and modern. Double screens. So, yeah. All this needs now is to look a lot better on the outside, which will hopefully correct that today with a stance. Um, and then maybe in the future when it's possible to read these by the ECU, by the OBD port, do some ECU tuning, get on a dyno, do some ECU tuning, because no doubt this, the Mark 7, 7.5 was so, so popular, did absolutely hundreds of those cars for various bits of work, and no doubt the market will be exactly the same. When they become a bit more popular because they're still so new, a lot of people are still waiting for orders, but um, yes, crack on with the PE handling package and show you the difference. So, the Golf GTI is up on the ramp, all the wheels are off, and I thought I'd just have a quick nose over it to see how similar it is to a Mark 7 or 7.5. And actually, today's Monday, the last car of last week, Friday, we had a 7.5 GTI in, in for the same package as well. So it's all fresh in my mind. Um, and just having a quick nose over it, it's pretty much exactly the same as the previous gen. Yes, it's a Mark 8, newer car, but underneath and even the engines fairly similar to the previous gen stuff but if you just have a quick look anyone who's worked on these will uh, be really familiar with the vag stuff but quickly so first things first drop link will come out i'll probably even name these off the top of, the off the top of my head the size of these are an 18 and obviously you've got a amati spline inside uh, so you've got 18 here usually take out the drive shaft which is a 24 and then what we got, we got the ball joint. So we've got these three, they're usually 16 mil. Um, the front hasn't actually got a level sensor on this. They got them on a the rear. Um, so no level sensor on the rear. 
so that should be okay and then obviously we've got all the usual um, brake line abs line um, brake wear sensor stuff like that and then on top we got the strut nut uh, it was usually 21 mil and obviously we've got the for the top mount there's three 13 mil bolt so that's what it should be for this yet to take it off but i'm pretty sure that's what it'll be like and then for the rear similar sort of setup very easy we've got where are we one bolt here one bolt there they're usually 18s each and obviously we've got the nut on the other side then we've got the drop link for the anti-roll bar it's usually at uh, 13 mil and then as we can we see it well basically we've got the level sensor here which is usually two little uh t25s for the rear so once they're all off everything should be all off sorry once all those bolts are off the suspension should be free and we can take the springs out but yeah i'm gonna crack on but i'm pretty sure so if you've if you've worked on any of the mark eight uh mark sevens or 7.5s the mark eight should be pretty similar so just finished up with the Mark 8 Golf GTI and to be fair I know this setup always looks brilliant but it looks absolutely incredible on this car. Yes in stock form it does sit quite high on the front and the rear um, but if you just have a look it just sit, uh, it's just such a lovely looking car anyway and now it just sits so good. So if you can have a look so we've got a tiny little arch gap there in relation to what we had before. If we have a look, the rear takes a little bit longer to settle down, obviously because there's no weight in there. And then if you have a look at it from the side, it says bang on flush with the arches, front and rear. What a brilliant looking car. Really happy with how this has turned out and Let's see if we can get it nice when the sun's gone out a little bit, but see if we can get it sat. Yeah. Just this lovely front to rear. I believe it's lowered the car around about 30 mil respectively. Um, and obviously, like I said, it'll take a little bit longer for the rears to settle because there's no weight. I usually caught around about 200 to 300 miles and it should be fully settled. And it may drop another five to ten mil on the rear maybe another couple of mil on the front but if you're just looking at it from from there it just looks great just did a quick test drive of the car the usual stuff with this setup it's nice and compliant it's a little bit firmer a little bit more responsive in terms of the handling as well um, and the spaces give it that little bit more of a squared off stance as well but what you will find is that once you put some mileage on there and everything's settled down it'll, it'll be lovely and obviously if you've got the adaptive suspension um, this particular car hasn't but you can get it um, so if you have the lowering springs the lowering springs will work with these with the uh, adaptive suspension but yeah really happy with that makes you want to get a close sport even more and um, to be fair the gti would make more sense from a business point of view because you can do obviously stage one tuning, stage two tuning and stage three tuning on a GTR which stage three will be um, a club sport or a golf R turbo um, but I don't know the, the club sport comes with a few extra little bits it looks a little bit more um, let's just say sporty um, but yeah I don't know we'll see I always I've always looked at them but the prices on them are now what even for used ones they're uh, £45,000 which for a golf astronomical money for a golf but if that's what they're worth that's what you've got to pay if you want one but going off topic a little bit but um, one last look yes well happy with that no doubt look at that no doubt this car will be back in uh, i think it'll probably be back in on the dyno at some point well not back on the dyno it probably will go on the dyno at some point um yeah probably go on the dyno at some point and we actually did if any of you have watched the intake vlog which we did on the s3 i'm actually in the process of setting up a similar sort of package for the market similar sort of parts and hardware um, so we're going to do a before and after intake testing on this car as well as well as tuning when it becomes available um, but yeah if you 
are interested in anything for this car, have a look on the website. Um, all the parts are available on the online shop, either delivered to your door or getting fitted at the workshop or even collected at the workshop. Um, just have a nose. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog and we'll see you on the next one.